Hello and welcome to Will and Levi's Rain Children's Today, Will is going to be reading What Do You Do With a Problem? And we want to say thank you to Daddy's work friends and buddies who keep us safe every day. And let's begin. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. So this is what a problem looks like in his world. Like in his imagination. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem, I thought. I, I, I wanted to make it go away. I, should, I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I like how it keeps making the problem cloud bigger and bigger. Yeah. Good eyes, Levi. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes all, away all of my things? I worried a lot. I, I worried wh about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the big and the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. See, look how big it's getting. I I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. I wonder what he's doing. A catapult? I'm not thinking. Um, what did he just fall to the ground again? No. Unless his problem is actually like floating and strong. It is. Because he just keeps worrying about it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I get face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. It, I had discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem had an opportunity. There, it was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. Holy cow, he's hanging out with a lot of animals that I would personally like to hang out with. So now, I see problems differently. I know that I'm not afraid of them anymore, because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. Thank you for listening to Only Five Screen Channel for Kids. And I want to say... Again, thank you to Daddy's buddies and work and toys for keeping us safe. And all we want to say is bye. bye.